Hi, Skip Lipman, Ron Newcomb here with the Rangers Combat Card Game. We're going to tell you a little bit about the game, gameplay, the cards, and what's next maybe for the Rangers Combat Card Game. Yeah. So you challenged me over lunch, <laughs> and I'm going to be playing the Forces of Light. And I shall play the Forces of Darkness. All right, so we're going to go through... Uh, the basic elements of play here. First thing you do is shuffle your cards. Mm -hmm. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Invite the opposing player to cut your cards. And then you get to draw five cards. One, two, three, four. So draw five. Check your hand. In the first combat engagement, the forces of darkness strike first because they are the aggressors in the battle for Adrasil. Yeah, you'll find that in our film once you watch that. If you don't draw any character cards in the first round of combat, you can discard and redraw. So I do have some character cards. I will play Tricks or Durock. All right, so you're gonna play Durock and I'm gonna respond with a character also. And, and now this constitutes a combat engagement once I respond, right? Right. So, I'm playing, so he can now respond with either a specialty or a character card. And I'm playing Kier, who gives a 1A and he is a sword. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the character cards. So up at the top, you'll see uh, what they are, their race or their class. So in this case, I have a black orc assassin. His name is Durak. He has an attack modifier of 1A, and his weapons are throwing knives and swords. He has an attribute, which is 2 plus 2A versus casters. Attributes only come into play during combat resolution, whereas special abilities are played when the character card first gets put into play. So your guy is, um, tell us a little bit about Kira. Yeah, he is... Uh a ranger warrior and that comes into play with other little add-ons let's say the lieutenant wolf uh, card or like he has a pluses against the caster he would say caster up there but he's a warrior his name's Kier. his base attack modifier is a 1a and his weapon is a sword all right so the combat engagement has begun and now we take turns playing cards back and forth until either one of us calls it um, or we run out of cards and it's resolved so I will play Booga. It's another character. Man. He's a 1A, fights with an axe. Booga's crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do um, Valor. And this gives plus 1A, your character fights bravely. Now, is that all characters or just plus 1? Okay, so it is just a plus one, it's a specialty card. It's not played on any particular character. Specialty cards remain in play until combat resolution, okay. and they could be removed from play if you so okay. if the winner chooses. Uh, all right, so I am going to play Bad Weather. It mm. is a specialty card, gives plus one A. A storm has set in and the orcs relish in its harshness. So I'm gonna play a specialty card and I'm gonna play Wood Elves. So I get a plus 2A. Okay. A squad of Wood Elves arrive on the scene to dispatch your body of arrows. Now they do count as archers, so if he has a bonus for his archers, it will come into play. Yeah, so check your attributes or anything like that and it doesn't look like any of my guys do it this time. All right, so I'm gonna play another character. Put Skrix into play. Now Skrix is special, he has, his attribute is the war cry, plus one to all forces of darkness characters. So these guys are all characters. He's also a character, he gives himself a plus one to, as well. All right, so I am going to play you, Clint <laughs> Tanner. He is a two A, he's a sword and shield. He does count, uh, he does get a bonus of plus one versus archers. He does not have any and plus 1A, it played with another shieldman. So if I had another shieldman, it would say it, and I would get another plus 1A. I have neither one of those, so I'm gonna play Flint. All right, we're just and then I'm going to call. Okay, so I am gonna play my last card here, because he called, which is the call. <laughs> and that is plus one, creatures of darkness crawl, and they all um, uh, 
from the shadows and arise to do your bidding. So it's plus one. So, and that is just an additional plus one. So we're in the uh, resolve phase. This is combat resolution. Yep. We tally up our points. All right, so on the forces of darkness, uh, there's no caster in play, so I don't get any pluses from Durak. He's a one. Booga is a one. Skrix is a zero. However, Skrix does have the attribute of adds plus one to all characters. So that adds another one, another one, another one. So two, four, five. Bad weather is six. The call is seven. So I have a total of seven as my attack modifier. All right, so I'm going to add up mine. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have lost by one. So you get to remove one character card. Right, and so uh, I will remove from play a character. Let's that take he chooses. Flint Tanner out of the game. I'm knocking myself out of the game. So I will dispatch my healing potion, which save one character from loss. Remove from play after use. Maybe play ah, during combat well resolution. Delayed. And I, but it is gone uh, from the game. Uh, uh, but I've saved Flint Tanner. Does it say that it's removed from play after use on there? Or yes, it... removed from play after use. Very good. So one of the things we tried to do was we tried to make the the card play um, as descriptive as possible. And when something doesn't go in the natural order of the rules. It states it on the card. So this goes to our discard pile. Then we redraw back up to five cards. So yeah, if I only had three cards, I, I could just draw another two. Because a lot of times it's kind of knowing when to hold them and knowing when to fold them. Right. And the, the goal of the game is to take five characters out of play, and that's how you win the game. Yep. So I, uh, I had one, but he saved them with the healing. Now I lost, so I am going to, uh, I get to go first, and I'm going to initiate a combat engagement and see if he responds, and I'm going to play a little strategy here and play a Berserker. So I'm going to play Sven. He gives a 2A, but I have an attribute which may double my attack modifier. It'll kill this card, but it'll double my attack modifier. So I play Sven right, for a 2A. And that's an attribute, so that'll only come into play if he wishes later. Yep. All right, so I am going to respond to Mighty Sven with Kulta. Now, Kulta is a 2A, and he has a special ability. Special abilities, like we said earlier, are played when the character card first comes into play. His special ability is Cunning, and it means I get to draw an additional card. Okay. We'll go, Sat. I'm going to play the King's Herald, uh, which is Amon's son. He is a historian. His special ability is retrieve any card from discard pile and return it to your hand. He is also a 1A, so I then get to go to my discard pile and return any card back to my hand. And that's back into my hand immediately. I can play that card. Over to you. All right. I am going to play one of the mightiest cards in the game, Dragon Quake. So the great dragon moves under the ground, and long story short, I get to remove a card at random from play from his hand. So, uh, boom, I'll take this. And it is a character, it ah. is Corsair, so this counts as one of my five deceased uh, character cards. Right, and this is a specialty card that can later be removed from play if he wins this round of combat, so it remains on the table. Yep. All right, so then I'm going to play Thane. He does plus two versus archers, plus one if played with another shield, and plus one versus cavalry. His base is a 2A. All right. I'll play Grishers. Um, Grishers' attribute is uh, plus one when played with two-handed. Colt is two-handed, so he does get that attribute. Okay, I will play uh, Flint Tanner. Now Flint, you may recall, he gets a pluses versus Archer, but the important one is he gets plus one A if played with another Shieldman. Thane is my Shieldman, and he also gets a plus one A if played with the yeah. Shieldman. So they counter each other really well. All right, I will add to the mix the Orcish Cavalry. It is a specialty card. Plus two A counts as Cavalry. 
All right, then I am going to play my final card, Garen. He has leadership and he gets a plus one A if only played with all character cards. So that's all I played. So his plus one does come into play and then I call. That is Brutal. a lot of points stacked up against me. Yep. So you can count the points at any time throughout the game to yeah. see where you're at if you should hold it. And that's, that's part of the formulating a strategy. And my strategy is to regroup all characters and their gear cards go to the discard pile. Remaining specialty cards are removed from play. So, unfortunately, I'm going to lose my Dragon Quake, but I'm going to save my characters. Yeah. So, so you lose Dragon Quake and your yeah, and Beast Rider, yep, right? Yep. Thank God. So that was painful, but I don't lose any characters. So you have a card in your hand, and so you only need to draw yep. four if you want to. Yep, and I like him, so I'm going to keep him. So then the remaining cards go back to your discard pile, redraw up to four or five. All right, uh, so that ended up in a draw because uh, nobody wants so the last person who lost goes first. Yes, so that would be me and I need to initiate with the character card, which I do have, and it is Mr. Drewston Lorne. He's an archer. He has sword and bow, and he gets plus 2A versus casters. All right, then. I will play Uklar. He's a 1A. Gets plus 1 if played with a warlord. Now, if you notice on our character cards, they have a little plus sign here. That means they're allowed to add gear to the cards. And that's some of the things we're striving to do is add more gear cards into the mix. Yep. And so I have a gear card and it is nice. the Sword of Oleron. You get plus 2A. The Sword of Oleron is wielded by one of your heroes this day. It must be played on a character. So I would tack that onto my character to show that Drewston now wields the Sword of Oleron. So I'm up to 4A. Right. Let's see, I will bring out Troll. He's a caster, 1A. His attribute is Dispel. He can remove a specialty card from play, which might come into play later. <laughs> yes, so. All right, so um, because of that, I know what's going on, and I get <laughs> plus 2A versus caster. What I'm going to do is play the King's Cavalry and Call. Because one of the advantages of the Forces of Light is knowing when to stop playing and when to keep playing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will then play a specialty card, Snare, and I will capture a character played and send them directly to the discard pile. Okay. So we're going to put Drew Stan in the discard pile. Do you want to talk about what happens to the gear card? So his gear is attached to him, and when he goes to the discard pile, his gear goes to the discard pile. All right, so since I have held, um, I'm at a two. And I am at a... Two? Two. Ooh, this yes. has not gone well. No, so this is a tie. The tie, then all cards are eliminated on both sides. So that's two character cards for him yep. down the drain. Not good. So now I'm up by one character card. Now I have two cards, and I don't really like this one. So I'm only going to draw back up to four. I have two cards. I'm going to hold on to them. And it was a tie, so once again, it goes to me. Yep. All right, so I have a special or a, a character card, so I'm going to initiate the engagement, and I'm going to break out Lieutenant Wolf. He is our leader in the story, and so his attribute is leadership. He's a two-handed wielder, and he gets plus one if only character cards are played. So if all of his mates join him, and that's it, he gets another plus one. I shall meet Wolf's challenge with Two Rock. He's a one A. Okay. So hmm. You are going to meet my sharpened blades. Ouch. So I stayed up all night and sharpened my blades and I get plus one. All right, well, your tough blades 
are no match for my tough armor, which is a gear card, so I attach that to him and it subtracts one from your blades. I need to muster my feared, and I will muster my townspeople, gaining a defense plus one. These are extras right from our film, pretty fun. Yep, I mean, that's one of the, the awesome things about creating the game is, you know, we took um, images from our movie and other stuff that we shot right here in the studio and photo illustrated them, created these awesome cards. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so our friends, ourselves, family, everybody who was in the movie is really a part of the game. Yeah. And we're inviting yeah. you into the Rangers universe to play. Yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, Tough Blade. So this is another gear card. You can stack gear cards on characters. So I continue him and he, so he gets another plus one. So one of the advantages of being a Ranger is knowing your terrain. So I'm going to play Ambush. Oh, plus man. Plus one A. It is a specialty card. All right, where there's a whip, there's a way. Specialty card, Taskmaster, it's plus one to all green skins. So you notice that two rock is a green skin. Yeah, so we have green skin and black skin orcs. And so that there's some distinguishing features with our orcs in our universe. Um, I'm, I stayed up and created a cunning plan. Oh, Look, that man. looks like the very map we're on here. And I get plus one A to all forces of light. Now that's only character cards, so I only have one played. So I just get plus one to wolf. All right, so uh, we're playing our hands out. Playing it all out. All right, Turok gets a little liquid courage here and drinks his grog. It's plus one A. Let's go to resolve this combat. Counter up. All right, uh, so I'm going to go with uh, Lieutenant Wolf is two. Sharpens Blade is one. One for my townspeople, so that's four. I ambush, that's five. And all forces of light, another one, that's six. Six A, sir. Okay, so we got Turok, who's a one A. Uh, he's not played with the caster, so he is a one. He gets plus one for the taskmaster, that's a two. Uh, his tough blades give him three, and Grog gives him a four, and sub his tough armor subtracts one from you. So that would be a five, so I win by one, and of course, I'm going to pick... What was your score? To rock six. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Minus one is a five. Dang. Yep. If only I could count, I'd be dangerous. <laughs> so how many character cards are you up to So now, we got three character cards out, two more, and yep. wins the game. And I've got one. So yes, you're up these, by we, two. We played all out. These are going to the discard. I'm drawing draw back up, up to, up to five. five. Two, three, four, five. I lost that round of combat. I'll go first. Open strong with Gurad, the Beastmaster. He's sort of similar to Thane in that he can be sacrificed to his beast instead of going berserk. He's sacrificed to his beast and can get doubled. That's an attribute. I'm going to play a caster Maul. He's a 1A and I have a special ability. Uh, may cast sleep sending one character that has been played to the discard pile. So special abilities, when do I have to play those? Special abilities are played only when the character first comes into play. So you could choose to play him now on uh, Gurag, or you could uh, just uh, leave Bypass him as a character that. and play. Yep. Yeah, so you so. may play your special abilities, you don't have to. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to play it and send Gorog <laughs> to the discard. So I don't get to kill him, but he's out of the, out of the loop. Right. Let's see how he responds here. Right, so I'll respond with Halberd Guy Dulog. Nice. So I have a uh, caster that I'm going to play. Connie, she's a healer. She gives a minus one to the enemy. Right. She cannot initiate combat and must be played with another character. So I've already played Mauled, so I'm allowed to play Connie, and it gives minus one to him. All right. Uh, I will bring my Shadow Elf Masters into the game, play the Umbran Shadow Guard, they're plus two. So I think I'm going to go after some cards here, so I'm going to play Booby Traps. Ouch. And this allows me to, um, you know these lands well, and I prepared a surprise for the enemy. Choose an opponent's character in play and send them to the discard pile. So Mr. Dulog, uh, see you later. Play. So although I'm not going after the, the cards, I might get some of those specialty cards. Yep. All right, so let's see what we got here. Uh, 
All right, um, I'm gonna call because it doesn't make sense for me to put anything else into play. I've got no more characters in my hand. You're gonna win this round of combat. And, you know, there comes a point where you don't need to count it up. I got one card in play. And I don't need to play these, so. Lose it. He's removed. Yep. Not so, great. So I am gonna discard um, Bird of Prey, which can be played with the Falconer, and draw back up. Two so I'm at four, so I just take these, reshuffle, and draw one more. All right, so I lost that round. I get yep. to go first. You do. Let's see about this. Oh, this fellow looks familiar, eh? <laughs> Lack of pine. Mm hmm. That must be Ron's card. Yeah. <laughs> so I've realized that using cards like this better off playing him early. So this is the Horn of Oleron. Because oh. he initiated combat with a character card, I can use a specialty card, and I want to use the Horn to draw two cards to see what else I get. Now, if he were to draw another two cards, we keep playing our cards out all the way if it was seven, eight cards, which yep. we've done before. All right, so you played that guy. Let's think about this. Um, I'm gonna make him tough. I'm gonna give Lack of Pine Blade of Shadows to plus two. Okay. And I'm gonna play a uh, the Drewston character card. So if he plays a caster, I get plus two. I'll see your archer and raise you an archer. Zolgar comes into play. Alright, and then I'm going to tack on the sword of Oleron once again to Drewston. He likes to wield that. So that's another 2A. Eh? Okay, so you got four showing. Two, three, four, five. All right, I am gonna play. And you reshuffled and drew lots of cards. So I'm gonna play Gurag and Call. All right, so let's see, he's at one. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm only at one, two, three, four. So I gotta at least get the six, preferably seven, because if we get the six, everybody loses. So I'm going to see what I can do here. So I'm at four. If I can't make it to at least a tie, it's not worth it to me. Because if it was a tie, I could win the game, because I would eliminate his his characters. Uh, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm going to play. Soren fell, and his special ability is quick retreat. Soren finds a way and can retreat back to the discard pile, saving his squad. All characters flee the sea, ending the game, the ending the engagement with their gear cards. Remaining specialty cards, however, are removed from play, so I do lose the sword or the horn of all around. All right, and all my guys go to the discard pile. Fancy yep. footwork there, Soren. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna get rid of these two guys and draw back up. So I get this card and I'll shuffle. All right, so you have caught me and the, the random gods of fate have seen fit to not allow me to draw a Why character card. Why do you have to go first? Hold up. I don't? No, because that was considered a draw even though you lost a card. Oh. And I think I lost the round before that. Hey, you're the role master. Sweet. I'll go with that. Isn't that true? Yeah, I think yeah. you are right. All right, so. Because I did so, retreat. Right, so and he, that wasn't a, wasn't a loss per se. So what happened there was we got a draw the last round before that. Uh, I lost. Um, he did not draw any character cards, and he mm -hmm. was worried that he might have to forfeit the round, and mm -hmm. I would get to draw a card at random from his hand. However, he has the option to play a specialty card in response to me opening combat. Yep. So that keeps him from losing a card. All right, let's open strong. We'll put out Colta takes the field. All right. Um, I don't have the choice to not respond, correct? If you choose not to respond, then you forfeit it. forfeit around. a card. Right. So, you, I mean, he could. Then I get to choose a random. So... You know what, I think the, the play here is knowing that I'm going to to die, I'm gonna okay. lose one. Right. I'm gonna choose which card I 
lose and it's gonna be ambush. So I'm gonna play ambush and call. Okay. All right. Um, so you don't even need to play another card. But I am going to, to though. Okay. Because I have a strategic card I wanna play. So I'm gonna play the Necromancer spell. Okay. Um, and this could be played during combat resolution. Um, and after use, I remove this from play, but I'm going to return a character to my discard pile. I'm going to make it two rock. And then these guys go to the discard. Oh, and you lose that dude. All right. Cool. So now I redraw back up to five. I'm going to draw back up to five. All right. So then you did lose that one, so you get to go first. All right. So that one, I'm going to... And actually, so that's about initiative, right? Um, it's not really a bonus to get to go first. It's actually, it's a hindrance. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, you yeah, gotta. You're gonna run out of cards You gotta first. meet the challenge. Yep. So I'm gonna play Amnon's Son, the King's Herald once again, ah. and go back to my discard pile and retrieve a card and add it to my hand. Hmm. And he is a 1A. All right, sir. Is he I, a caster? Okay, so no, Amundsen is a historian. So he is a one-off card, and it's actually a funny story. So this card is based on one of our Kickstarter backers from the film's dad, and that's Bjorn Munson's dad. So that's yeah, exactly, cool. a tribute to him. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to play an Orcish Scout, because I don't have to answer with a character card, um, and that allows me to draw two more cards. So you're going to put cards in your hand, I'm going to put cards in my hand. All right. I'm How going to... Call out the Wood Elves. They do count as archers, but they give me a 2A. All right. I will play Gurag, who's that Beastmaster guy, and he gets a plus one versus casters and archers. And he could uh, Beastmaster out, right? Yeah, yeah, Double yeah, yeah. his attack. Yep, during combat resolution. Mm hmm So I'm going to put Amundsen, I'm going to put... Uh, oh, the Ranger's Cloak the ranger's cloak on him. Okay, I am going to, so he's a one, two, three. I got three showing. Um, I'm gonna play the Blade of Shadows and Call. All right, so that is two, mm -hmm. four. Now, if you beast mask that out, do you get plus? Oh, so you his attribute, Plus his gear card would be doubled. Like his full modified attribute. Would be eight. If he if I sacrificed him. Yeah. Yes. Alright, so I'm going to hold then. Okay. Alright. Uh in that case let's tally yep. it up. So I have three. And I have uh, five, I believe, because he's 2A, mm -hmm. plus versus an archer gets one more, mm -hmm. and that's, so that's five. Mm -hmm. So I'll take two cards out. Let's make it the um, Amundsen. Now this, I, the Ranger Cloaks <laughs> use this card, character, and all their gear to discard pile instead of being huh. removed from play. Well, what do you know there? So I guess I get the Wood Elves. <laughs> yep. But you did get the Wood Elves. Slippery Amundsen there. And as the, always trust your cloak. Ranger yeah. lore. All right, so I like the cards in my hand. I'll draw one more. And I... Uh, go again. Yep. I lost, so I have to go I'm again. I'm whittling away at his deck. Sven, oh, 2A, uh, he can berserk. Yep. I'll play Zolgar. He happens to be uh, plus two versus two-handers, so he gets that versus... Yeah, because if you got a weapon, it does say two-handed. Yep. So I'm going to play Drustin, who gets uh, Ooh, plus two versus casters round. if need be. Hmm. Power round. Hmm. Let us bring out Durok. So he's an assassin. He gets plus two versus casters. Yeah, he's one and I'm going to play Garen, and I'm going to hold. You mean call? I mean call, because he gets a plus 1A if only played with other character cards. Right. Regroup. <laughs> I'll go back. And that that's all character and specialty cards, correct? 
Right, all characters and their gear cards go to the discard pile. Remaining specialty cards are removed from play. So, so the specialty card is removed from play? Yeah. yeah. All right, so draw back up. And I, no, we tied on that. I so, was the last, so yep. I so go again. Three. So I'm going to play Lieutenant Wolf, 2A. Grishers, 1A plus 2, plus 1 versus uh, two-handers. So he becomes a 2 Okay. And I'm going to play um, Connie, who gives a minus 1 to him. Right. Two love. Two A. Two A. Halberdier plus one versus Calvary, which doesn't come into play yet. Booby traps, and I'll oh, booby trap him. <laughs> he goes to the discard pile. All right. I will play. Play a snare on Lieutenant Wolf. So he goes to the discard pile. Yeah, I'm gonna play Sharpen Blades. So okay. that's plus one A. Alright. Tough armor, minus one A. Alright. And I will play Mauled and put him to sleep. Ah! <laughs> So he's discarded. I lose the combat round. Yep. So obviously you're not going to play your last one. No, sir. Yep. So I did that because I lost Lieutenant Wolf. All right. So one, two, three, four, and five. Please leave one dude left. So. Technically, no cards in play, you win the round. Should have drawn a card in my hand. No, I don't think so. Um, I feel like that's the same as forfeiting. It's like you won, you won the round. You just held. Yeah. Okay. Either way, we should edit this out when you're seeing this later. <laughs> well, that's why I took a breath and yeah. sat back and everything. All right? All right. Yeah, Errol. Errol. <laughs> All right, so you uh, lost the last one. I did. All right, let's open with a handsome bounty hunter. <laughs> that Pine. All right. He's so I'm going to do Flint or uh, Thane, rather. He's okay. a two-A. All right. We faced lots of nasty weather when we were yeah, <laughs> shooting we did. rangers. Yeah, out of a 10-day shoot, I think it rained like six days. Yeah, which, you know, only gave, led to the... Yeah, it gave ambiance. Yeah, it's a uh, production value you can't buy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, it's a plus one. All right, so you play bad weather, and I'm going to play... Uh, I ain't going to mess around. I'm going to go Ooh, Flint Tanner. Snap. <clears throat> All right, I will play Gurag. He's a 2A. And I'm gonna play um, Valor, plus one. All right, we'll add Booga to the mix, another one for me. And I'll add Fell and Well, well Rested and Ooh. Call. All right, so I will play The Call to his call. And then we go to combat resolution. Add it up. All right, I am going to utilize his special attribute and capture uh, Thane. So we're gonna put Thane in discard pile and then we'll go to resolution. All right. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got one, two, three, four. All right, so I got two this time. Yep. Let's take out uh, Flit Tanner and Valor. I lost last time, so I'll start it with Lieutenant Wolf. Okay. 
get a good mix in my little shuffle here. Get the cut. All right, so I will play Skrix. Now Skrix can't initiate combat, but this isn't initiating combat. This is just playing in response to a combat engagement. So I'll play Connie, which gives you minus one. All right. I will give him tough armor. And I will play Sven and Call. All right. Whew. Well, that's not very good uh, for me. Because you got one, two, three, four. I got one, two tops I can get. So I'm going to hold there and cut my losses. You're going to take both those cards. Yes, I will, sir. All right, so this isn't good. Let's count the cost here. Now, I did rescue one of my guys from removed from game. Yeah, yeah. But now, so we're at three and two. two. Yep. All right. All right, so let's redraw one, two. Okay. I lost that. Booga takes the field of battle. All right, he's a warrior. I'll play Ebar of 1A. He gets plus two versus caster. All right, we'll give Booga tough blades. He gets plus one. All right, I'll play Kier. He's a sword and he's 1A. All right. Uh, the Taskmaster lends the whip to Booga's back. Adds plus one to all green skins. I will put the mm. Ranger Cloak onto Ivar, which will secure his fate, hopefully. All right, and I will play. The call and call. All right, let's see here. So you have one, two, three, four, first one, two. All right, so I'm going to play booby traps and I'm gonna booby trap Boga. Oh, snap. Him and his gear go to the, the pile. And I have no green skins in play. Leaves me with a plus one. Yep, so and I lose. have. Yes, you do. So actually, you have one. I only have a two. Okay. Okay, so I get to choose one uh, card, and I'll I'll choose the call. One, two, three, four. Man, force of darkness on the run. Play Gurag. He is a 2A. And I'll play um, Garen. Alright. 2A. Drinking on the job. Let's give him some grog. <laughs> okay. Plus one. I will play um, Amundsen and draw a card. Alright. Gets to pick a. Uh, any card from his discard pile. So it could be a specialty card, it could be whatever. Yep, and I got it. All right. I got a feeling I know what it is. <laughs> Although he might have had to reshuffle since then. Yeah, I've had to reshuffle a lot. <laughs> all right, you're up. Uh, all right, so I'll play Two Love. He's a warrior, yep. and I'm gonna play Sven. Oh man. All right. Zolgar, plus two versus two handers. I'll play Dristen. Mm hmm. And I'll play Durak and Call. And so, so, so he is Garag, a warrior, black orc. He, what's his special ability? Plus 1A when, when we play, play with the caster, caster. or Beastmaster. Right. Yep. Then we have this guy here, Dulag, and then he gets plus 2 versus 2-handed weapons, which I definitely have with Garen 
and Sven. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna play Maul and oh, put him no, to sleep. This is it. <laughs> yep. All right, count it up. Mm -hmm. I got one, two, three, four, five, plus two versus caster, so six, yep. seven. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. I'm gonna orc him, I'm gonna berserk him. Just cuz. <laughs> I'm gonna berserk him, well that way I win the game. Yeah. So I'm gonna berserk him, it gives me a four, which gives me uh, th two, so I'm over by three, so, but I lose him, but I choose bing, these three bing, guys. Bing. And win That's a winner game. chicken di dinner. <laughs> Forces of Light win. Rightly so. All right, good game, sir. Yeah, no, good game. We hope that that gives you guys a, a nice little taste of what the game's like, the gameplay's like, and helps you know help with some of the rules and the gameplay. You know, there's strategy involved here. No one to call. Yeah, if you want to find out more about um, the Rangers Combat Card Game, if you want to read the rules, check out the FAQ. Go to combatcardgame.com slash rules. You'll find the link on the page here. Yep. Also slash FAQ for the fact. We're keeping that up to date. We're listening to you. We're uh, being responsive. We're looking forward to hearing about what everybody has to say about the game. Yeah. And we hope you love it as much as we do. Yeah, a lot of positive feedback. We so appreciate you guys jumping in with us and letting us bring to life this story. So... Until next time, we'll see you. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Rangers! Hey, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see more content from the Ford Studios, please subscribe. We're mobilizing an army <laughs> of fandoms and geeks. Say something, Skip. <laughs> Help me. I refuse. <laughs> oh, man.